Welcome back to the home remodel. Today we're moving on to a new project, the living room slash third bedroom. As you can see, we're standing in a long corridor living room. It's just super long and it's totally unnecessary. The reason it's so long is because there used to be a third bedroom in this house, but somebody took down the wall that was right back here and opened up the living room. We're gonna be putting that wall back up so we can have a third bedroom for our son and that's the main focus of this project. So here's the rundown of this project. First of all, we gotta take all the drywall down. Believe it or not, we have drywall in the front part of this house. The rest of the house was just paneling. This part is double trouble. We got drywall over paneling. The drywall has to come down. The paneling has to come down. The ceiling has to come down. We're gonna pull all the insulation out. And, and then- the nasty carpet. And then, the goal is to start working on that bedroom back there, which entails just framing. We have to reinforce the ceiling for drywall. We're going to be beefing up the walls for, uh, to bring it out to five and a half inches for more insulation. And then we also have to build that wall to divide the rooms. And that wall is going to be a little tricky because we're going to have some closets built in for the entryway for their bedroom. We'll figure that out later. Um, so yeah, that's all we have to do. That's the rundown of the project. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe because you're going to miss out. We're not going to get this all done in one day. You ready, Ashley? Yeah. We parked our trailer here so that we can just load the drywall right up and take it right over to the dumpster. Nice and easy. Perfect. Did it. How's it going? Good. Demo is coming out good, keeping it clean. I just found my first sign of mold behind the wall here. We got some mold in the wall and on the drywall. So I'm gonna have to find out why the water is getting behind the drywall. We are getting a lot more mold over here in the wall where the chimney is behind this wall. We just got mold running all down the wall. The paneling is shot. 
This is exactly why we gut and redo it from scratch instead of covering up like everybody else does. Look at this. They covered this with the, with the, the drywall and you would have never known this was going on behind that drywall. We just need to know what's happening inside the walls. This is the chimney from the outside, right behind the wall here. That's all coming down. Just takes longer to go yep. That is it, drywall is done. We're down to the paneling. And hopefully the paneling comes off pretty smoothly. It's glued and stapled, but it does come off. The blue walls. LED bulb. We're a crew of two making it happen, right? Yeah, I like that crew of two. Nope. Getting ready for round two. All the drywall is down and now we're left with some nasty paneling covered in old wallpaper, covered in paint, covered in mold. Ew. <laughs> Where do I begin? Corner. <laughs> fencing pliers to do this. The claw. As always, we like to clean, keep a clean workspace. There's a nest. They dragged all that in there. Yep. From so, somewhere. The attic probably. So there's one rodent nest. We found some more rodent damage, nesting materials, and this is rodent damage. You can see these wires where they're all dirty brown like that. That's from mice crawling on them and making a mess. We're going to be sealing all these gaps going up in the attic so they cannot get into our walls anymore. Yeah. 
Another big disgusting mouse nest. And there's like nuts in here. Focus. Yeah. Well, actually, whoa! What? This goes behind the slab. Ooh, the slab has to come up. Should we do that now? Yeah, this slab is just a big block of concrete that somebody poured for a wood stove. And yeah, that's probably going to be heavy. Okay, it moves. That's good. Where do you want me? Help me lift. We're going to see how heavy this is. Don't hurt yourself, okay? Okay, ready? One, two, three. underneath. So All right. some rot. Yeah, a lot of rot. That's actually a lot worse than I expected. Not only is it rotted, there's insect damage. You can see it's eaten. Wasp, or bee nest in the wall looks like an old one pretty cool though when we did our bedroom remodel we built a new wall right here behind the old wall because the old wall was not where we wanted it and it was garbage we're going to be taking down this old wall right now There it is guys, that's a day's work. We got all the walls gutted, insulation, paneling, and drywall out. So it's looking good, except for over here. There's a lot of rotted wood up there and that's a bad place for it. That's really the top sill that holds the roof. That's gonna be a little bit of a pain. We'll figure that out soon. Coming around here. Oh, I'm so glad that we got this wall right here. That's our bedroom wall that we built. That's going to be easy to work with. The rest of it, I've been scraping it down and trying to get all the staples out. If you ever got a trailer, a mobile home, you're going to realize that glue and staples are such a pain. So we're gonna be calling it quits for tonight. We got a lot done. It's looking good. Next time we're gonna be working on the ceiling and floor. So the rug's coming out, the ceiling's coming out, the insulation's coming out. We left the rug in so there'd be less stuff to pick up. It's gonna collect a lot of this dust and debris. We could just roll it right up. And all those screws and yeah. everything. And we knocked out another goal of July. What did we say about July's goals? Getting a dumpster. Check. Gutting this. Check. So we're, we're right on track. July's not over. We're hitting our goals. And finishing Bell's room, which we did. Yep. So we'll be coming back soon with another video. But until next time, take care. Bye.